This morning, a 14 year old is under house arrest. A 16 year old is with his grandparents after police say they bullied a student using social media. That student then took their own life. Now those teens are charged with conspiracy to commit murder. The case is in Ellsworth, but bullying and how to keep kids safe is certainly something parents all over the state and the world actually struggle with. Zach Blanchard here with more on one family's bold move to hold the school accountable. Good morning, Lee. Yeah, you're talking about a lawsuit here. That's what how far one Gorham family went to hold their school accountable. And we will warn you, some of the details of this story are disturbing. I was kind of shocked. Message after message. You don't want to go to school or even worse, hurt themselves. Patrick Moore says parents are sharing concerns about serious bullying at Gorham Middle School. You feel horrible because it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. His son, whose identity we've hidden, is one of them. What they look like, if they're fat or like they should kill themselves. Yeah, that's happened to my friend before. That is why Moore decided to sue the school. This lawsuit details relentless bullying his 12 year old son reportedly faced, including racist and threatening messages on Snapchat. The suit blames the school that suspended Moore's son last year after the bullying led to a physical fight. It's about every kid going to any school. Gorham school officials won't comment on the case, but according to state statistics, Gorham Public Schools only reported six bullying incidents to the state last school year, all in an elementary school. Last time bullying was reported in the middle school was in 2015. Superintendent Heather Perry says they're tackling the problem in all their schools, but says the word bullying is the real issue. The word bullying automatically sort of creates sort of a victim and a perpetrator where often issues around bullying in schools is not quite as simple as that. Why not just call a spade a spade? I think that sometimes, again, it creates a system of, 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 of simplicity where it's not simple. Simple or not, Moore says something has to be done. As for those who say his actions go too far. They can say whatever the hell they want. When my son comes home and crying when he says somebody's calling him a little black boy or a little ramen noodle head, that, that hurts me. Pain kids and their parents across the state face every day. The question is, who's to blame? I really don't know. I mean, I, I just wish we could all get this whole problem resolved. Now, as of last check, that lawsuit is still in mediation. But Lee, the school here says that they actually have surveys that students fill out. And according to those surveys, most of the students feel safe in Gorham schools and only a small percentage are actually bullied. All right, so this isn't a Gorham issue. This is an everybody issue. We get tons of messages all the time about bullying. I talk about this with my own kids. I've got elementary school kids, middle school kids, high school kids. Social media, it's such a problem. What can a parent do right to, to help at all? Is there anything for them? Yeah, well, according to Pacer, they recommend three simple things. So the first tip, if you have kiddos that are on their phones all the time, have the cyberbullying conversation. It's simply talking about it, as well as reminding them that they deserve to be treated respectfully. Tell them what that looks like. Second, you set cyber safety rules. Now that means limiting time, also making sure they're not talking to people they don't know personally and never sharing those passwords with anyone else. And yes, mom, you can be friends with your kids on Facebook. And finally, number three, stay involved in your child's online use. So of course we get caught up in the day to day, but keep reinforcing it, keep checking in and just keep that conversation going. It's a major issue. Maybe the one of the number one online social media issue that parents deal with. So I'm glad we're doing this story and we'll certainly keep an eye on it moving forward and see what happens. So.